You know, one question I kind of started asking myself, and I've talked about this on this channel before in a sense, what song can I relate to the most? That one I've talked about, but here's a more detailed question that I was asking earlier. Which song can I relate to some past relationships I've had the most? And there are quite a few of them I can implement into these. But I think the one that matches the most would most likely be I Hate Myself for Loving You by Joan Jett. I guess the reason for this is just how frequently I always seem to feel betrayed by people. And I fall for people and keep falling for them, even after some of them would like hurt me to a degree that's just ridiculous. And inevitably, I would end up, as the lyrics say, hating myself for loving the person. Because it would only damage me more and more the further in I went. But I was so blind to that each time that I didn't really realize it. It's kind of interesting to think about. There are a few songs I can relate to kind of the same idea. Um, like, for example, the song Payphone by Maroon 5. When you listen to the words of that song, a lot of people think it dark when they just hear it, but they don't actually pay attention to the wording. But it's just, honestly, sad. It's like, for those who don't ever listen to the words, or haven't heard the song for some reason, it's basically talking about the fact that a woman left a guy and he was left kind of out on the street to get a hold of a payphone to grab a cab to go home. And he barely has any money left because of it, because he spent a lot of it on the woman herself. Now honestly, there are a few other songs I could, at least one other song off the bat, but there are a few other songs I'd be able to think of that kind of relate in the same way. Uh, the last one that would come to my mind immediately be, would be the song Forget You by CeeLo Green, as a lot of people know it, but the actual name is actually Fuck You by CeeLo Green. Anyway, I've always felt these three particular titles are extremely relatable when it comes to my past relationships, for individual different reasons, but even so, the main concept itself still kind of stands, and the idea is just that people for some reason like using me to a degree where they try to hide it but eventually I kind of figure out I'm like screw you people for that kind of thing I have found, been lucky enough to find some um, friends and allies recently who maybe people who will inevitably be closer than that at some point but I've been lucky enough to come, the uh, the main point is I've been lucky enough to recently come across individuals who don't do this to me. How long these individuals will last is unknown to me, but if it's anything like my past it won't be very long until either 180 is pulled or they're taken away from me for one reason or another. Because this always has a tendency to happen to me and it's kind of a downer for me because these particular individuals that I'm listing at the current moment are the people who actually kind of check off the necessity marks on a list of like when you're looking for like a friendship or someone who's close like a family member or like a generic a relationship boyfriend girlfriend relationship or depending on what you're into girlfriend girlfriend boyfriend boyfriend really again depends on what you're into um, I've always had the unfortunate circumstance to name what I listed at the beginning of this or have the outcome where I would lose the person to something or someone. I've never been lucky enough to be able to gain a friend and keep them like excessively 
for because the, like nothing bad would happen to the person. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. But I guess in the words of Laura Shigehara, everything is all right. Or at least it will be. But these are my thoughts on kind of the matter. I guess music has a large impact on my life in that sense, and I've talked about that before, but definitely the three songs I listed earlier, especially since my life seems to be like a purgatorial loop for the most part. But those ones direct specifically towards relationships, which seem to be the bigger part of my recent life. I don't know. That's just kind of what's going through my head right now, and I kind of wanted to get it off my chest just to vent for a bit. So, for those who are still here, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I do videos, whether discussion, rants, about me. I'm trying to think of something that I could come up with as far as, like, a story about my past. Uh, for a future reference, but if you do like those kind of videos, definitely consider subbing to the channel and liking the video. Uh, if you like gaming stuff, I do that as well on a daily basis. So definitely check out the channel if you're not subbed yet to at least see what you're missing out on. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. And ah, uh, I'm literally just stretching out my arms as I'm finishing this. Hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.